Euro New Zealand dollar 30 minute time frame Watch the video until the end because I'm gonna cover so many topics about trading and spirituality and how to grow as a trader and make money and survive the market Hello everybody welcome back to another video Today I'm going to show you what happened on the forest market and on Forex Sandy on the 30 minutes time frame. This video is dedicated to all the traders that don't like to trade on the uh, lower time frame, on the smaller time frames, like 5 minutes on the 1 minute, and prefer a more calm uh, trading day. So the 30 minutes uh, is perfect for those people who are busy. Uh, just want to open a, a, a trade in the morning and close it in the evening or even the day after. It depends on your strategies. So the first trade here on the uh, screen is Euro and New Zealand dollar. We have a triangle buy signal 6402. So the price action looks pretty promising. Okay, and the price is compressing here. It's dancing inside this pattern it looks like more uh, like a, a, a channel okay but doesn't really matter um, then there is a first breakout retesting this very strong resistance at 63.91 okay the price is literally waiting for an explosive movement upward or downward this time is upward as predicted from Forex Trendy. So we got a nice, nice uh, bullish movement here. Um, break at the 64.02, very close to the zero, 00 level. Going up to 66.06. So nice trade. <laughs> I think this is one of the most beautiful trades I, I've ever seen on this uh, online software. I mean, you know. The breakout retest on this uh, resistance acting like a support. Few doges and then up, going up. If you don't want to enter on this breakout because you are pretty conservative, you can wait for this big ring candle. It's always a good sign. And then you can enter and buy. This is not a financial advice. This is uh, how I see the market. Let's jump to gold. Uh, it's been a very incredible time for gold. I had <laughs> huge trades on gold. Uh, I, <clears throat> we have a flag sell signal. Uh, break it 71.79. So the price action looks very promising we got, because we got this nice, strong, bearish movement and the price uh, forming the flag the first breakout was a tease um, the price retested the zero zero level close to the 92 and then went back up uh, went back down sorry adding to the 1859 uh, so if you're trading gold you know that you uh, need higher and a bigger stop loss it's quite different than trading uh, euro usd okay but you can make a an incredible amount of money if you are pretty good and uh, you have a pretty good plan strong one you know the main the main objective of trader uh, of trading okay uh, I think on a, on a metaphysics side is to uh, not to care too much about money I mean you can really separate yourself from money because when you trade you need to keep your emotions out of the way so money is just number if you have good strategies and a very good plan money are just numbers and uh, you're gonna use them to multiply the, the numbers this is the only way to make money on the first market uh, keep your emotions under control 
because if you uh, allow them to keep the control of your mind it's gonna be tough okay so for me my my main goal spiritual okay goal is to separate myself from the money i know it's, it looks it sounds incredible but for me the main goal is to separate from the money of course i have strategies i invest money that i can i can afford to lose okay because if you invest money that you can't afford to lose it's very tough it's very hard to separate from money when you have other incomes you can trade and stay calm and follow your strategies your plan and you know that everything is working so you can take losses with grace remember this separate yourself from money EURUSD 30 minute time frame falling wedge by signal break at 0.528 so this chart honestly looks pretty messy you know because if you look at the sides of the candles well for me it's a no 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 but just because uh, my uh, teachers my mentors uh, taught me to trade let me show you on these charts you see uh, small candles the market going down or up calmly so for me this is the, the perfect perfect chart to open a trade okay let's go back to our trades so the price was <clears throat> Retesting this support zone around uh, 0,496, 0,490. Okay, the, the price structure between 90 and 00. Okay, and it was rebounding many times. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, uh, getting close here, five, six, seven. When you see such a strong rebound. You can expect a nice strong move as in this case here so we have a very nice strong breakout if you go on the higher time frames you will find a nice big green candle and engulfing here here you see many candles but doesn't really matter so the price going up but failing to reach the previous high and um, Retesting this level around 0588 and then going back down So it's up to you to your strategies uh, For me is no 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 Maybe I, I could open okay a position a, a long one here on this uh, On this support zone Because you know there is a nice channel here between 0577 and 0496 okay I wouldn't go any higher I know the market <laughs> but uh, I'm pretty pretty uh, I'm a disciplined trader so <laughs> there are more aggressive guys out there that make huge money uh, I'm um, I like to run marathons VSD Danish Chrome uh, rising wedge sell signal uh, 0.658. So pretty similar to the previous trade because the price was retesting this resistance at 8882. Um, yes, it was pretty strong to the sell off, and the breakout was good. Again, this is a trade I wouldn't enter in. Only if I find myself here at the resistance zone. But not here just because of my rules okay maybe you got different rules but it was a pretty good one okay same story similar to the previous one New Zealand dollar and German yen this was a failure as you can see that the price failed even though it was retesting and, and rebounding many times 
between 83.40 and 83.68, but was not enough, was not enough. This is one of the situation, okay, one of those times that your uh, strategy and price action looks promising, but the price, whatever the reason, goes in the op opposite direction. So this is why in its strategy uh, you need to uh, accept losses with grace. <coughs> New Zealand dollar and the USD triangle sell signal break at 63.98. So the, the <coughs> I'm sorry, um, the breakout was pretty solid here, you know, because this support zone was strong, 63.96. And the price <clears throat> just broke down this strong support level at 64.29 and 64.16. Okay, in fact, went back up, retesting it, and then started to go down to 63.42. <clears throat> so, yes, um, <laughs> it's a pretty good trade, honestly. You know, because we got a, a retest here on the support zone, acting like a new resistance. And then going down. Nice one, nice one. Canadian dollar and as we see this trade is still in progress. It looks pretty promising. I had a very nice trade uh, today on the on this pair on the five minute time frame. In fact, I was trading this double bottom here, <coughs> and it went into profit. So now we are expecting for a higher uh, movement. At least targeting the previous high. If you check the um, the daily chart, you will find that this is the previous high. So for today is everything. Uh, let me know what you think about this video. If uh, you desire to see other kind of videos like Fibonacci, copy trading, uh, harmonic patterns, or uh, market analysis, whatever topics you want to hear about, I'm gonna analyze. I'm going to depth. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna share with you my knowledge. See you soon. Stay tuned. Bye bye.